Today we're going to talk about three words, reject, refuse, and decline. And you're going to know exactly how to use these in your speech. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use reject, refuse, and decline. Now, first of all, keep in mind that all three of these have a similar meaning and they all mean that there is an unwillingness to do something. So when and how you use these really depends on the specific context that you're using and also it's possible that all three of these could be used in one sentence without a lot of difference in meaning. But let's talk about when a native English speaker would use each one of these so you get really comfortable with them. First, let's talk about refuse. Refuse, we use this when somebody wants you to do something and you say no, okay? But they want you to, that's the key. They want you to and you say no. Then we can use refuse and keep in mind refuse is quite strong of a word. For example, my son refuses to clean his room. Now, of course, as a mother, I want my son to clean his room but he says no he refuses even though i want him to okay and remember it's strong as the mother i'm not very happy with this decision my son refuses to clean his room now i don't have any kids but refuse is such a great expression to use with a kid parent relationship so that's why i wanted to give you that example Another example in a business context, I asked my client to give me an extension, but they refused. So I asked them, I want them to do this, but they said no, they refused to give me an extension. Next, let's talk about decline. You can think of decline as to politely refuse something. Because remember, I said refuse is quite strong. It has a lot of emotion involved in it. But decline, it's more neutral. It's a polite way of saying no. So with decline, you're offered something and you say no. But with refuse, there's a strong part that the person really wants you to, but then you say no. That isn't there as much with decline. For example, I could say, I was offered the job, but I declined. So in this case, both answers are okay, right? It's okay for me to say yes and accept it, but it's also okay for me to say no and reject it, which we'll come to in a minute. So both of them are okay, and that's why I'm using decline. It's a lot softer, a lot more polite. I was offered the job, but I declined. Now you can use this with a social invitation as well. My friend's having a party tonight, but I declined. So decline and refuse can pretty much be used interchangeably, but it changes the meaning slightly. Refuse has that strong emotion attached to it, and decline is a lot more polite, a lot more neutral. Now let's talk about reject. That means to decline or refuse to do something. Reject is also quite a strong word. It's like saying no, but very bluntly. For example, I could say the judge rejected their appeal. So the judge said no to their appeal, but he did it very strongly. I could also say the judge declined their appeal. Now when I hear those two, the judge rejected, the judge declined, 
there's a lot more drama in rejected. Now, I could also say the judge refused their appeal. Here, remember, it's I really want the judge to accept my appeal, but he said no. So it is still strong as well. Now, ultimately, you will have to just keep in mind that all three of these are used for the same purpose, to express an unwillingness to do something. And context is key. It's your example sentences that are really going to determine which one would be most appropriate, and it's the emotion you want to show behind it as well. So the best thing that you can do right now is to practice. So put maybe two example sentences with each one so you can really get comfortable with them because I don't think one example sentence will be enough. So try two with each one, reject, refuse, and decline. So six sentences in total, put those in the comments and I'm happy to review them and make sure everyone's using this correctly. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforestenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying.